Hello nursery, hello reception. I hope you've been enjoying our monster stories. I certainly have. Now this term, our topic is called wild things. So it's not just about monsters that are wild things, it could be other wild things. And this week, we're sharing stories about these wild things, dragons. And we've got a really good story for you to listen to today. Now this story, I need a little bit of your help with. So get comfy, get ready to listen. And here we go. It's called, There's a Dragon in My Book. Oh. oh, look, there's an egg in your book. It looks ready to hatch. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. Shall we turn the page? Yes, let's turn the page. I can't believe you did that. The egg has hatched and now there's a dragon in your book just like this one. Why don't you tickle her little nose? Oh, I might need some help with this. I tell you what, I'll tickle her little nose. Can you tickle the dragon's nose? Very good. Well done, I think she likes that. Ah, 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 choo! Oh dear. Oops, the dragon accidentally sneezed a fire in your book. We need to put it out quickly. Oh, help, dragon, blow out the flame and turn the page. Can you help to blow out the flame? <sighs> That's it. Well done. Oh no, your dragon didn't blow the fire out. She blew more fire. Whoops. Carefully cover the flames by turning the page. That should put them out. Can you turn your page? Can you pretend you've got a book and turn your hands together so that Dragon knows exactly what to do? That's it. Turn your hands. Put your hands together. That's no good. The fire is getting bigger and bigger. Don't get too close. If only we could think of a way to put out this fire. Hmm. Have you got any ideas how we could help Dragon put the fire out in our book? Ooh. They're good ideas. Let's see what we think. That's it. Let's use your imagination to put the fire out. Imagine a great big water balloon right in the middle of the next page. Make sure it's full and ready to pop. Can you imagine a great big water balloon? Imagine it's in your hand. Perfect. Is it like this one? Now, use your finger to pop the balloon and get ready for the... Can you pop my balloon? Get ready for the splash! <gasps> wow! Hooray! You put the fire out. Give the dragon a high five. Oh, this little dragon definitely wants a high five from you. Thank you. Did you like that? Yes, you did. So... You have a great imagination and Dragon must be a little hungry now. Why don't you use your imagination again and think up a yummy treat for her? Ooh, get your thinking caps on. Think about a really yummy scrummy treat that you like to eat. Mmm, I wonder what it could be. How about a great big cone filled with a triple scoop of yummy scrummy ice cold Chocolate and strawberry flavoured. What do you think it is? Oh, it's very tasty. Ice cream with sprinkles. Oh, that looks so good to eat. Wow, that looks delicious. I think the dragon likes the look of that. Yum, says the dragon. Oh, I think she might have a little bit of a tummy ache now she's eaten all that ice cream. Well, Dragon must be tired after all that adventure. I think it's time for her to fly home. She looks very full. She's going to need some help taking off. She's got a full tummy now. I don't think she can take off on her own. Dragon needs your help. Flap the book up and down like giant dragon wings. Oh, I tell you what, I'll flap the, bo the book up and down. Could you flap your arms up and down to show Dragon how to fly? That's it. Flap your arms up and down. Nearly there. Keep flapping, everybody. There she goes. Goodbye, dragon. Can you 
wave goodbye to the dragon. And turn the, hang on a second, what's this? Oh, look, what can you see? Look, more eggs. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. Oh no, I think it's time to close the book carefully. Look, there's more dragons, baby dragons, for the baby dragon to play with. I'll close the book really down carefully. They might be having a little sleep. Now I hope you enjoyed that dragon story today and this week we're going to have lots more dragon stories so make sure you look out for them and listen to them. But for now, from me and the dragons, 